making the turn. Rafa Cabrera Bayo, the 37 year old from Spain. Third at the par five. And throwing it over that ridge. The back of the green just perfectly. Hello. One way to make eagle. See three of them today there. First one from off the green. It's the Zayden out over here at the 18th, the par five. With his third. Yeah, lovely little swing. And that is the second time he has had a hole out today. That one for the Eagle at 18 as he makes the turn. He also had a couple of birdies earlier at 13 and 14. Well, over at seven, Rory McElroy has missed the green with his second shot. This is his third. And it runs out beautifully. It's very fast down the slope here. Oh, that's going to curl right in the center. Wow, what a thing of beauty. How about that shot with a uh, parasailer behind him as he got his hand out? That's a money shot. In more ways than one. Moment ago here at 10, just getting his second round started, Chez Revy. Yeah. A bit of lingering uh, marine layers just popped over the golf course. No wind to. Yeah, oh, Chez. Yes, come has on. To be. Has to be. That. That's how you get your day started. Make <laughs> it two at the 10th from the fairway. Yeah. Chez Revy all smiles. Yeah, at the second, you might have heard a little roar from the crowd. Brandon Grace's second shot down the hill. Oh, come on. <laughs> it sure does. That'll get the crowd going. Even though it's a little chilly. What a shot from Brandon. Eagle two at the second. This was just a moment ago. Neiman's third shot at 12. Front left hole location. Oh my goodness. Wow. The low spinner. That's some birdie at the long par four. Brian Harmon to play his third shot here at the par five out of the deep rough. The good news is he's got a good angle hole cut over on the right hand side of the green. Well, should release coming out of the rough. Oh, how about that? Released right into the hole. Brian Harmon with a three at the par five ninth. Quite a USGA resume he has a former junior amateur champion twice a walker cupper to 16 kevin nah oh how about that <laughs> shot how about that shot kurt that was, yeah he yes. was stuck on the side of that mound justin and that was sort of phil mickelson like <laughs> that is what i'm here for right there <laughs> oh my god that, that any good that ball traveled about 100 yards in the air <laughs> but it only went about 20. Oh. That was good crazy. Job, uh, good job on our cameraman following this thing. And there's no way he expected this. Look at that. He had to go way high to pick it up. What a shot by Kevin Na. Second and 11 now. Yeah, short and right. Just trying to get something to trundle up the slope there. No, he did not do it again. Even more. What? How about that start? I made it from 60 feet on the 10th and then what <laughs> was it in from right of the bunker here at 11. What is going on? Wolf made bogey in the group in front as DeChambeau tees off at eight, Noda. Trying to hit a high right to left shot here. Done that very nicely. If he gets the right skip on it, could be good. Kind of like that. Best DeChambeau one of the day. With a near ace. Up to the fourth a moment ago from the deep rough, Wade Ormsby, the 41 year old from Australia, way up in the air. And eventually down in the cup. University of Houston man is one on the European tour. Enough green to work with. It's downright makeable. This isn't bad. <laughs> Understatement. Fantastic. I have Bubba Watson unable to reach the green in three. He played his third from the rough. 
<laughs> Get in, I guess. A lot of ways to make birdie. That was first of the day. Agreed, playing his third shot. Poor Wedge missed the green. This was just a moment ago. Great sound. And a great result. Patrick Reed, three under par in his final round. As instructor David Ledbetter telling me earlier in the season, best hands I've ever seen on the PGA Tour. You might have heard a roar just a second ago, and it came from the back edge. Mackenzie Hughes roars into solo second. Pepper in the pens and over at 14, Patrick Cantley, another one of the California guys that's fared well this week. Winner of the memorial when John Rahm was forced to withdraw. Cantley bringing it back. Wow, that's a crazy spin. Shot. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, oh, yeah. It's going to feed. That is incredible. Oh, shot of the championship for Justin Thomas. And talking of roller coasters, here's Spieth. He's third at 12. Big breaker here from the right. Oh, come on. Jordan <laughs> Spieth. He's trying. Is it, is it inappropriate to say expect anything different? <laughs> I'll leave that up to Mr. Hicks. It's a much more simple bunker shot than the one he had on the last hole. A good lie. And oh, consequently yeah. oh. taking advantage of it. Wow. That is spectacular. What a shot. This is his third shot. A little stubby chip and he stubbed that right in there just so tays it into the hole. Just a yard under 200. Just playing a swooping draw in there homing in. That's a glorious shot from Justin Thomas. Magnificent. Here's Mackenzie Hughes with his second. At the fifth. He was coming off bogey at the fourth after three straight pars. Ooh. Wonderful from a fairway bunker. He's right in the thick of things again at a major. Yeah, he was in the thick of things at Kiowa. When Phil Mickelson made history, he's won a major and he's now finished five times a runner up, including. At that PGA Championship, this from 52 feet. A great way to end it. Louis Oosthuizen. Well, another eagle has landed on a Saturday at the 18th at Torrey Pines. We saw it's been a different setup this week. Here's Stewart now at 11. Second shot from the bunker. It's beautiful. Get out of here. Two. Get out of here. <laughs> wow. 